Hello, it's Brent Shared Lover Jalene, and today is Monday, which means it's Macro Monday, and I can't think of a better way to start out your week than being more efficient and effective on your computer. And the best way to do that is use our latest macro. What kind of macro we posted this morning? Let me show you. All right, this is the macro we're dropping this morning. This is an Excel macro, update multiple workbooks from one. Now, if you've seen a previous macro that I've done where I've copied multiple workbooks into one, this is essentially the inverse of that macro where I'm taking one active workbook, taking the contents of it and updating separate workbooks. Now, this is great if you really desire one source of information that you can easily distribute across multiple parties. Now, when this macro runs, it is going to loop through each worksheet in that active workbook and then update the workbooks identified in the mapping of the VBA code. By default, the first worksheet will be updated in that separate workbook, but you can customize this to update a different worksheet. If no workbook mapping is found, then I'm going to attempt to find one in the folder path of the active workbook. If that fails, then I'm going to present a message box saying nothing is being updated because no workbook mapping is set. Now, another macro I have out here that you may notice, it is save worksheets as workbooks. This may give the impression that it's updating multiple workbooks from one, but really what this macro is doing is overwriting the old one, which can be a big problem if you're working with workbooks that have multiple worksheets you could potentially delete some information that is why i highly recommend this excel update multiple workbooks macro to update existing workbooks not overwrite them now if you've yet to see this macro in action check out our see it in action video and i also did something a little different here i have this macro design presentation that i want to show you because this macro requires some customization all right, because this macro requires some customization, I did want to show this presentation so you can see the exact way this macro behaves and you can set it up to do exactly what you want. So when this macro starts, it's going to loop through every single worksheet that is in the workbook. And then it's going to identify the workbook mapping in the VBA code to identify the individual workbook to update. If no mapping is found in the VBA code, I'm going to attempt to find one looking in the folder of the active workbook. And then if there is a workbook out there named the same as the worksheet name, I will use that in the mapping. I put this feature out here so you don't even have to go in the VBA code to set that workbook mapping. You can just put workbooks in with the exact name as the worksheets and that mapping will happen automatically. If no mapping is found by either of these versions, a message box will appear informing you that no updates are made because no mapping has been found. Once the mapping is done, and I'm going to update those separate workbooks, an additional mapping is in here to identify the appropriate worksheet to update. By default, it is going to be the first worksheet, but you can update that in the VBA code to instead update a different worksheet just by indicating the number of the worksheet. All right, I hope that presentation helped you out and those graphics were helpful so you can really see what this macro is doing and you can update it to really behave the way you want. So as I continue to work down here, here is the code for this macro and just a quick call out. If this is your first time using VBA, you have to activate the developer tab, update your macro security and set up references for leverage and lean macros. This takes no time at all. I do usually walk through this in Macro Monday videos, but I wanna get into the code. So if you've yet to do this, check out last week's Macro Monday video. All right, so when you want to copy this code into Visual Basic, my recommendation is double click in between the code lines and the physical code itself. You can then control C to copy. So let's navigate into Visual Basic to paste this in. In Excel, you'll have the developer tab updated. You can then jump into Visual Basic. Now, I already have this macro pasted into Visual Basic because I wanted to have the mapping set up for this video. And where the mapping is set up is in this code segment here. You can see for Sheet 1, I've set up a path to a workbook titled Sheet 1. And the same goes for Sheet 2, 3. And then you'll see there is the additional worksheet mapping where I've indicated the worksheet number that I want to update for this macro. You can see I'm updating the first worksheet, the second, and then the third. Now in sheet four, I have no mapping set up. 
So the next thing that happens in this macro is if it does not see any workbook mapping, I attempt to find it with this segment here. I loop through the folder path of the active workbook and then try to find a workbook titled the same as the worksheet. I put in this feature so you don't even have to jump into Visual Basic. All you need to do is put in those separate workbooks in the active folder path of that workbook and then title them the same as the worksheets. Now the final sheet I put out here in the workbook mapping has no mapping found and I can't find one in that active workbook folder path and that's when I display a message box. So let me go ahead and show you what happens when I run this macro. So what I've done here is I've created a custom macros tab and a custom button to run this update multiple workbooks from one macro. I always recommend creating these custom buttons. It's really easy to do and helps you call those macros quickly. So let me walk you through the worksheets before I run this macro. You can see in worksheet one, here's the information update. And then in sheet two, I'm updating that second worksheet in the workbook identified in the mapping. And then in the third, a quick call out, I'm updating a number in this workbook that is linked to some formulas and you'll be able to see that that also updates the formulas as well. And then sheet four, no mapping, but I find one in the active workbooks folder. Sheet five, we expect to see a message box because I have no mapping set up at all for that one. All right, let me go ahead and run this macro. All right, so the first message box is gonna come up is the message box for sheet five because no workbook mapping is set. And when I click out of this, you're gonna get the finishing message box saying that the mapped workbooks have been updated. So let me go ahead and show you those updates that have been made. You can see in sheet one, I've just updated that first worksheet. In sheet two, I went over to the second worksheet and made sure that I updated just that one. In sheet three, I updated the third worksheet and I also updated this number, which was linked to some cells that are referencing it in formulas. So it doesn't break those formulas, which is a nice feature. And then sheet four was that workbook that was found in the active workbooks folder path. So this one is updated as well. All right, so here is the customization section for this macro. Customization is required for this one. You have to update those workbook mapping. I did show you a way we don't even have to do that, but if you just feel more comfortable just throwing the exact path to those workbooks, you can surely do that. Or you can let the macro do it for you. Let it loop through the active workbooks folder path. Make sure those workbooks are titled the exact same as those worksheets, and that mapping will happen for you. If you don't like message boxes, you can remove the one that shows you that no mapping is set. Maybe you just want to map certain worksheets in a workbook. And then also that finishing message box, go ahead and remove that. When you feel like this thing is working the exact way you want, you don't really need to make that additional click. All right. Well, that's all I have for this new macro I'm dropping today. I absolutely want to know what you think of this update multiple workbooks from one. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome. Thank you so much for taking time to view this video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to start using the macro of seeing the video, I have a link in the description. If you could do me another big favor, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned on any new videos that I'm posting. Like us, follow us on all of our other social media channels. And as always, stay awesome.